everyone, welcome back to another video from Winter Forest. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe for similar videos. Um, today I'm going to talk about how to add um, a small cache layer to your React app. I think it's common use on React Native, but in currently, sometimes you um. You both also expect that the app don't uh, crash even the later work is done because you previous already loaded this data in your app. So today's task is going to achieve that. Before going to um, start, I just like uh, tell you I have this uh, playlist and the React channel. The code is follow along from this uh, coding test for counters. So the first um, video, I just create a one page from ground new, and um, a one page and have a two uh, state. It, one is the um, airport list state, another one is the airport detail state. Then I see how we could do it better. So I use the code split with the React and React load and the version file added to this um, Page. So I split the one page to two page, so bigger chunk to small down, so make the code is more readable. And second thing, after that, I add the Redux Saga flow into the into this app. It actually this contest app I continue working on. So instead, on the user effect, I just make a, a satisfax call. So actually move it to a Redux Saga to 100. So if you like none, you could go this one. And after this one, I did one tutorial. What I did today, uh, it is make the Saga is bookmarkable. It on now upload over there. It on upload now. So when you are over there, just you could click and visit. Now I'm going to do another thing. So. Uh, and let me show you current state is this app. It actually in here. So if you see here, so I'm going to and um, first page. Did you see? I'm um, in here, and um, actually I already have this uh, have this data isn't. So, um, but if I go into the second page, also and um, have this one, and. Um, what happened one day i just uh the later work is done so i actually and i like this one so for example already in here a a a did you see i go back i refresh the whole data again if i go into here and then i fetch fetch the data again so what i'm going to do so instead every time go back you see fetch again I'm going to determine use this local storage. I'm going to add them to my local storage. So if they are in my local storage, I could read from here. I do not need to read from and the application. So this is the key is my airports. I just push in all of the data into here. This actually not I haven't this uh, haven't achieved yet is if I clean. So actually if I refresh, I don't have the data. It won't add to this I manually added it. So I manually added it. So it, did you see here? So the data it is empty, no matter how I do, it is empty. So what I'm going to do, so I mean I'm going to fetch, going to add to the local storage. So let's just stop this one. Let's get the task. For be able to do this one, I'm going to install one library called uh, local storage. So it is this one. So I'm going to install this library and go back to here. And control V, I'm going to install here. Once everything finished, so in here, did you, you go into, in where you going to fetch data? Only in here, I'm going to fetch data. So I'm going to input my library. So 
So in here, did you see if this page fish, for example, are going to set the home page, going to retrieve data, but I so in here, so every time if I get the data, what are going to do? I'm going to set the data. So this will add this to my local storage. What happened if I fail? Do I just directly select exception? No, I probably already over there, so I'm going to check. But in case I add again and again, first I'm going to check. If I equal to now, so only at once. So if uh, this data already exists and don't know existing, I fetch. I don't have. I just get it. Otherwise, I go into here. If you have an error, do I need a slow exception? Not directly. Actually, first check. Then if I have this one. If I have this one, I'm going to get the airport. Then I will have the airports. Just remember when you set the data, this data going to actually let me look at the what are the implement. This actually suppose is a JSON string because in the local storage only a store string file. So these are going to store the as a string, they are going to pass. So now I have the airports. So in this case, I won't go into three exception. If I have only it also it means that they are, this is a brand new the person brand new that don't have a browser cache. Then I go into a three exception. If I no, I just do like this one. Actually, I don't need it both. I just do this one and this one. Just in here. So I get the, this data and I cache it. So if it's have an error, then I'm going to hear the same after the data page. Do I need a director to get it? So actually, I first get it. So I'm going to the detail. Same for the detail. Also get the input this one. So in here, if I do I need a fetch? Actually, I don't need a fetch because this is the same endpoint I'm going to call. This better is a constraint, but at the moment I just do like this one. If you have, then you this is a, then will be true. If this be true, and um, I'm going to call otherwise. Else going to do this one. And then instead of the constraints, just light airports. So I have airports. So these are the airports equal to JSON dot pass. It will be my airports dot get airport. Is it airports? Make it like this. It's called airports. Yes, it's called airports. So um, do I have this airport? If I have, I just get it. I don't go into fetch. So once uh, it is, I don't need to change it. Then reduce it. Still get my airport. So everything we are going to work. 
in exception, and if the if don't have this exception going to get it. So just let's test to see if everything is still working. Yeah, that's that's all right. See the application we have this data. I expect that they're already in here. So yes, did you see? They have this data. I don't need a fetch. Okay. So if we go into this um performance, so go into the second one. Did you see application in here? Um, uh, already have the data. So go into the an um, airport detail. I expect that don't make Ajax call C. If I clean up, I see if I make any side effects call, suppose don't, if I click. Yes, I read it from the cache. So it achieved. So that is, uh, um, today I'm going to explain you. So you actually expect that you just use uh, application and local storage. You actually could use the index. So index DB can store much bigger data. So if somebody have an interest, next time I just explain you how to move this to the index DB. My next topic, we are continue on this one. I'm going to look at here. And in, the, in, in here, actually just like a make a, a Ajax call. And I'm going to my next topic, I'm going to move this one. This have a nothing to do and uh, side effects. I don't like so if this then do this. So I'm trying to make this more simple. How I can make this more implement better. I'm going to introduce uh, what is uh, middleware. Please keep uh, um, subscribe to my channel. Just click the bell. See if you have a new and um, fresh video coming in. If you are interested in this React topic. Thank you. Bye bye.